you see, <clears throat> as long as you, uh, you have an alternative, a conditional alternative to turn to, you won't be turning to God. As Adida has said, if you wake up feeling angry or obnoxious, you don't turn elsewhere. You turn to God. A divine life can only become a divine life if we turn away from this to that. I realised when I was in community that taking on yamas and niyamas is a conditional condition. Changing your behaviour for another behaviour is another condition. Yes, we don't want obnoxious people around us. We don't want bad people, bad behaviour around us. We don't want to, once we've taken on a spiritual path, to be behaving badly. No. However, the only way out is the God man. This morning, because there's a lot to do this week, conditionally, I dramatised some of my old habits, even almost having an asthma attack. Not, not greatly, but it was the beginnings of a dramatisation. And there was some resistance to turning. But because grace, whatever, I was going to say because I'm a responsible person, even that's another condition. To see there is no alternative and to have no alternative. other than turning to the agent, to the bridge, to that which connects us to God, to the divine, to already happiness and joy. To have that as the only way out of this is paramount for one who truly wishes to be purified of the nonsense that the ego is. So taking on another condition, taking on another discipline, egoically, is not it. One has to feel, before the dramatization, the root cause of all drama and all egoic patternings and tendencies. It's an incredible teaching and it's so detailed. There's no, once you've read it and understood it and agree with it as it were, then there is only this one alternative. I live in a, a house that's been divided into four flats, a Regency house. I'm in the basement flat. I don't like calling it basement. <laughs> the garden flat I call it because I'm posh and a snob. And flat three had a new boiler installed a short while ago. And they've had trouble with it ever since. And the gas man has realised why from all the way up there the pipework the visible pipework was changed but the pipework behind the walls from the gas meter which includes going behind one of my walls in my flat is of the wrong piping 
which has to be changed. There's no alternative. It's just as it is. It has to be changed if they wish the, for the boiler to be working correctly. There's no alternative other than let's then get back the old boiler. <laughs> no. If they wish for the new boiler to work correctly, the piping has to be of the correct diameter. So it just has to be done. The old has to be taken out and replaced with the new. That's a different condition. Still a condition, another condition being changed from one to another. But the disposition is what needs to change in our case. The disposition is a graceful happening due to turning away, turning to that which is He said, the horse knows, so hold on to the tail. The rose in the thorns, again and again, never endingly, come running to my bodily human form, and forever after my physical human lifetime, to my in the every particular then present time, formerly Rishira Sanyasin order acknowledged, Rishira Sanyasin devotee agent, to luxuriate in my loveless bright palace garden, wherein forever sits, upon a throne of imperishable light, the eternal Haradaya rose of my divine and always blessing presence and person. Listen to me. Hear me, see me, accept my bright gift of love, of bliss, of pleasure, of happiness, and not less. So as long as we have these alternative conditions, we will never ever be satisfied completely. Unless we turn to that condition by the bodily human form. Alidar Sandbach. God. Thank you for listening.